Good morning. All right, so here we go. Uh, today we are working on simplifying square roots, or as you know the new terminology, simplifying radicals. These are all radicals or square roots, but let's call them radicals because they're not perfectly square yet. So here's how you do this stuff, all right? So take detailed notes, pause me when necessary, but I'm going to get more and more difficult as it goes through, but it's always the same process. So you're looking at this first one, like you're looking at all of them, and you're looking... What are my perfect square root factors? So we're no longer looking at just factors. We're looking at perfect square root factors, such as 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Maybe 121 and 144, but we'll get to those later. Those are all perfect squares. So I don't want to use 6 or 3 as a factor of 18. I want to use 9 and 2 because 9 and 2... This one's a perfect square. Remember, this says the same as square root of 9 times 2. But the square root of 9, and remember, this comes outside as a 3, radical 2. So that's square root of 18 simplifies to 3 radical 2. Let's look at 28, okay? Well, right off the bat, I know 7 and 4 are my factors of 28. And this is as far as you need to go because I got a perfect square factor, okay? And I know this is square root of 7 times 4, and this 4 comes outside as a 2. So this is now 2 radical 7. All right, let's get a little more creative now, okay? Square root of 80. I'm not going to use 8 or 10 because 8 um, is not a perfect square factor, nor is 10. So, But I know there's a, a 4 that's inside of the 8. So that means a 4 has to be inside of this 20, inside of this 8 as well. So if that's the case, I know 80 divided by 4 is 20, but 20 can still break down. 20 has a, yes, it has a 2 and a 10, but it also has a 4 and a 5. So now that I got this down, it's kind of like prime factorization, but not because I'm looking at, I got my two perfect squares and I got this guy too. So... I know that 4 times 4 times 5 is 80 broken down. Now, I can do this one of two ways. I can bring the 4 outside as a 2, this 4 outside as a 2, so then that'd be 2 times 2, which is 4. Or more importantly, let's use the G, the, let's combine these two, because I know the square root of 16 is 4. So square root of the 4 comes outside, so this is 4 radical 5. Okay? That's that one. Last but not least is this one over here, 180. All right, this is where it pays to have a calculator. All right, yeah, I know that uh, 18 times 10, but 18 and 10 are not good, but there's a nine, there's a nine inside that 180. So let's do 180, divide that by nine, and I get 20, okay? Nine and 20. Now, I could use those and still break this one down further, but I want you guys to always try to work smarter, not harder. I got 9 and a 4 inside this 180. Well, 9 times 4 is 36. So that means 36 should be a factor of 180. And 36, 180 divided by 36 is 5. So another way to look at this is I got 36 times 5. And the 36 comes outside as a 6. Radical 5. Whereas... If I would have had this brought outside, that would have been a 3. This would have been a 2. 3 times 2 is 6. I get the same answer. I'm not going to tell you which way to think through it. you got to think through it, whichever makes the most sense for you. But I want you to know all the different ways to think through this stuff. Down here, now i got all these numbers in front of these radicals. And it's not that much more uh, different because all you're doing is when you break down the square root of 45 to a 9 and a 5, this comes outside as a 3. Well, by rule, it must multiply by what's already in front of that, because we did that already. There is an invisible 1 here, so 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2, so on and so forth. So now, this is going to come outside as a 3 times the 3 that's already attached to this. So your final answer is going to be 9 radical 5. Okay? That's how we break down 3 radical 45, break down into 9 radical 5 by doing just this. Remember, the 9... Draw yourself these things if you need to. Comes outside as a 3, and then multiply that 3 by what's in front of there. Same with this. 
Now let's get our calculator because, huh, I'm not going to lie to you, I forgot what factors of 112 work. Well, I know 112, even number, I'm not going to divide by 2 because 2 is not a perfect square. Let's divide by 4, see what happens here. I get 28, okay? There's a 4 inside of a 28, so that means there's 2 4, so that's 16. So 16 is a factor of 112. 112 divided by 16 is 7. Always work smarter, not harder. Square root of 16 comes outside as a 4, right? Then multiply this 4 times the 7, and that's 28. Gross, not 3. Silly me. Radical 7. Okay? 28 radical 7. So there's that. And then this one right here says... Uh, 250. Well, I know there's a 25 inside there that works. Also a 10, right? 25 and 10. I know 25 works because it ends in a 50 or a 50 or a 75. So I know that 25 is divisible by this. Um, 25 comes outside as a 5. And then multiply that 5 by this number in front. So now this says negative 15 radical 10. Back in a second, one more. All right, my next and last examples are going to be multiplying radicals. You're allowed to multiply radicals of different numbers no matter what uh, by doing this. You're going to multiply this 6 by this 3 because they're both underneath. All right, and you know, let's have a little fun with this. Let's call this one down here just so we see some different ways of doing this. Let's call this 2. Let's call this... Uh, for the heck of it, and let's call this uh, negative 2, just for whatever, for grins. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I know that I can multiply these numbers together underneath it, and I get a square root of 18. And this is now, I can simplify this further because my square root of 18, my radical 18, has a 9 and a 2 inside of it. So this actually simplifies to... 3 radical 2. That's how you do that one. Over here. Now I can solve this one of two ways. Okay? I know that radical 8 breaks down and it has a 4 and a 2 inside of it, so I could do that. I'm going to do that one over here just to show you. It doesn't make a difference which way you want to do it. Okay? So when I do this, I get 5 times 8, so this is square root of 40. And I know that the square root of 40 breaks down and this has a 4 and a 10 inside of it, right? Four and a ten. The four comes outside is a two, so this is two radical ten. Well, let's say I wanted to break this down first and simplify this before I multiply this. Totally fine. You can do that too. So in that case, remember you got a four and a two. It's going to say as a two. So this is square root of five times two square root of two. Now, what's on the outside of this is a one. You don't see it, and a two right here. So you do one times two, and you get two, and then you do five times two, and you get ten. Both are the exact same answers, different ways to do it. Matters how you see it first. Over here. Well, I don't want to get really big numbers, so and I think this is probably a good idea for you guys. I would try to keep my numbers low so I'm not relying on my calculator. I already know this breaks down into a 4 and a 2, so when this comes out now, this says negative 2 times radical 7 times 2 radical 2. I multiply it on the outside by each other, and I get a negative 2 times 2, so that's negative 4. And I get 7 times 2, and that is radical 14. And square root of 14 does not have any perfect square factors. Therefore, we are solid on that one. Now over here, let's do this like this. These don't break down at all. So 2 times 3 is 6. Square root of 3 times 15 is 45. 45 has a 9 and a 5 inside of it, right? 9 divides out of 45, and that's a perfect square factor. That comes outside as a 3. 6 times 3 is 18 radical 5. Hoping that this makes sense for you guys. See you in class.